eni ti o si tan gbogbo arun re eni ti o fi un didara te olorun be ni igba iwe re di otun bi ti di o fi ona re ran fun mose ise re fun awon omo israeli o ki ba ni wi ni gba gbogbo be ni ki pa ibinu re mo lai lai ni tori pe bi orun ti ga sile be li anu re to bi si awon ti o beru re bi baba ti se iyona si awon mo be li oluwa se iyona si awon ti o beru re bi o se ti eniyan ni ojo re da bi koriko bi itana ewe ko igbe be li o gbile sugba anu oluwa lati ayoraye ni lara awon ti o beru re ati ododo re lati omo bi omo oluwa ti pese ite re ninu orun ijoba re li o si pori o gbogbo e fi ibo kun fun oluwa eyin omo ogun re gbogbo eyin iran ise re tin se ife re e fi ibo kun fun oluwa gbogbo ise re ni ibi gbogbo ijoba re fi ibo kun fun oluwa iwo kan mi o ti oluwa pe wa si lati se niyan ogun odun seyin oluwa ti se wa lore ninu ijo yi o si pe wa lati fi ope lati fi ibo kun fun bi an si lo nu ijo sin ope yi agbara wa la yi olorun yo kun wa sarin wa a o si bi alabokun fun iruko jesu oluwa wa adupe adupe lowo loru je ka di lati fi oko pe wa fun oluwa adupe adupe lowo
Let's, let's do better than that. Let's clap. Alimati Joko, Alcorn, Yashagun, Watoani, Ujue, Ike Dogun, Nino Wito, Overcomers Aims on page 15 of our program. Uh, these are songs that are peculiar to us as a church. Uh, they may not be baptism hymns, but they are hymns that are so important to us and peculiar to us. Emma, you know, Nino, I know then from there we go to Ashegun, Ati Ajogun, Niaje, Nikbaje, Christi, Ani Shegun. Oh, 
Hallelujah. 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 O King Carbon, you look at Jesus Christ to share be a Julo Sibio to a Jodu of Bordon, T. Jory of Felua. To follow along for an ore, to shall be your eighty oko to mo wa di akoko yi we would like to appreciate god all of yesterday we were here thanking god led by tope alabi for almost three hours standing on our feet just worshiping him who liveth forever and ever part of the songs we have taken are songs that we have always used to reaffirm our faith in the lord because this is the overcomer's sanctuary. We trust the Lord that as you sit here and join us to worship today, that we will all become overcomers in life and destiny in the name of Jesus. There are two other songs we will sing. One I will lead us to sing now. The other when the message is about to start, after the scripture has been read, we will take the last song. When I am down and hold my soul so weary, when troubles come and my heart hurts but in peace, when I am still and waiting in the silence until. Shout, who are thou, O great mountain? Before Ori of Elua, you shall become a plain. Our vision as a church is transforming ordinary people to overcomers in all areas of life so that they can reflect God's original purpose for man to live in dominion over the creation. Our mission as a church is to help our members discover, develop, release, and maximize all their potentials in God. And our core values as a church includes integrity and holiness of life, commitment to excellence and quality, faithfulness and fruitfulness in all we do, diligence, stewardship of life and resources, leadership development, and friendliness with firmness. Life at 30 is special for us. 
like many other numbers, number 30 is used in the Bible so many times and it is clear that this number has prophetic meanings. Of course, we look at the scripture, it was clear to us that 30 is synonymous with fulfillment of destiny in the Bible. Our desire and prayer is that Ori of Yolua, we enter into fulfillment of every prophecy and purpose of God for our life in Jesus' name. This is our season as a church to be numbered among those doing serious ministerial work in our time. We recognize that in the Old Testament, priests officially enter service at age 30. We also recognize that priests, Levites, are numbered from 30 years old and upward in 1 Chronicles 23.3. We recognize also that this is our season of reigning in life like Joseph, like Saul, like David. 30 was the age of reigning for Joseph. It was the age of reigning for Saul. It was the age of reigning for David. Each of them got to the throne at age 30. Our prayer again is that Ori of Yolua will begin to reign in over every area of life, over situation and circumstances that have defied solutions, either to in the name of Jesus. We recognize that this is our season for next level in ministry like Jesus Christ. Jesus commenced ministry at the age of 30, a cry also over the last few months was that the door of ministry will open widely more than before for us in Jesus' name. We recognize that Ezekiel's eyes were open when he was age 30. He was sitting among the exiles by River Cheba in Babylon. His eyes opened. So we have been praying also that God will open our spiritual, the spiritual eyes of all our the leaders of units, ministries, and committees in the church to fresh vision henceforth in the name of Jesus. So from this year, our focus became increase. Job 8 7 says, Though our beginning was small, our latter hand will increase greatly. We want to increase in size, in amount, in number. We desire to expand, to enhance, to intensify to advance, to progress, to rise, to multiply, to swell, and to build right from this year. And that is why we are doing what we have done. This year for me, I mean this particular month, this particular week, I will say in all of my life here since 2005, two of those years as student pastors in the seminary and the other years as a full-time pastor of the church, this week was the most challenging it was the most challenging for us. We were trusting God. Actually, we almost broke our own back in the course of doing that. So we are planning for this program. We wanted to do something unique. And our prayer was God should give us light. What is it that we have never done before that we need to do? So we started, you will see in the course of the program, our free community medical outreach. We were thinking we shouldn't just gather and be shouting hallelujahs all through the week. Shouldn't we bless the community? So the Lord helped us to arrange medical screening for several hundreds of people in the course of the week. From Monday, it was planned from Monday to Friday. By Tuesday, we were exhausted, so we canceled it. We couldn't cope with the crowds that were coming. I'd like to announce to the, His Excellency and other uh, VIPs here that we had people come for medical screening from Oshobo. We had people come from, uh, from uh, Ilori, from Ekiti. People came from Abuja to participate. A couple came from Oshobo. They wanted to wait for the next day. They said they would sleep under the canopy. We were overwhelmed by Tuesday. It became clear to us that we have a lot to do. We had another unique program we have never done before. We have never seen it done anywhere. We were just crying to God. When the medical program started, I regretted at a point. I hope I had God correctly. Because all my members were stretched beyond limit. I was just hoping nobody would drop dead among them. Coping with crowd from 5.30 a.m. in the morning. It was beyond our understanding. We also planned a Bible recitation for all our students, the younger ones. We used number 30 as the baseline. Students in primary school were to memorize and recite 30 Bible verses. 
Those in GSS were to memorize and recite 60. Those in SSS were to memorize, we increase it by 30, 90. And Lautec and the youths were to recite 120. Those who recited 120, recited 120 under 15 minutes. And I must tell you, if I have ever been happy in life, my greatest joy was this week. Not because we had any money, but because lives were impacted. When we gathered today, we were just celebrating the faithfulness of God. So at the back, it was 30 years of his goodness. I'd like you to rejoice with us. I know that we have not reached where we are going. But this is a milestone, and we are celebrating it. Yesterday, we decided to have a music night. We've never had it before that way. Ask Sophia Alabi to come around. Our plan was to start by four yesterday. We did. Our plan was to give Tokyo Alabi microphone exactly five. We did. Our plan was to collect the microphone exactly seven. We couldn't. Because she was on stage standing. We were on stage standing until eight o'clock. We couldn't collect offering. We just shared the grace and everybody left. I was not thinking my members can quickly come to church because we stood for about four hours yesterday. We are excited. We are happy. And we trust the Lord to move us forward in the name of Jesus. Now, finally, as we trust God for increase, on page 13, while we were planning and we were trusting God to raise money, and since then, that the Akala has come, and is a very a very good friend of the church and father. He's the father of the day. Immediately I saw that he has come. I said, we shouldn't worry. Item number one to six. We will leave everything with uh, His Excellency. Uh, Your Excellency, sir. I'm talking to you, sir. You are hearing me. Thank you, sir. So, we will trust the Lord that he will continue to move us forward. Now, what do we have there? These are things we've been trusting God for. God has blessed us with enough equipment to broadcast our message to anywhere in the world. Some of our friends came down from the UK to exam examine our equipment and they said, you don't need any other thing again. We would like to take our message on um, cable TV from this new year. We are test running and at the end of this anniversary, we want to move that. Number two is a global show worship encounter. How many people are here who have always been to show worship encounter? I know that the Akala was once with us. He came and stood with us during the program. The global show worship encounter is our contribution to worship in the global show. We did that deliberately. I'd like to welcome our father, His Royal Majesty, the Ogbetu of the Jeru Land, Kabiesi. You're welcome, sir. Ano Lori. You're welcome, sir. So, Bobosha Worship Encounter is the largest worship gathering in Obomosha, and we dare say in our environment, we don't have any other gathering beyond that any other place here. But it takes three million to organize a Gomosha worship in Qatar every year. And it will surprise everybody that we don't get any cover from any other place except our contribution as a church. And that is too much for your fellow to bear right from our small beginning. But we like people to partner with us. We like the program to start again this year. We rested in 2017. We rested 2018. And 2019 because we couldn't so much the amount but we like to move forward. Three, we like to help employ two mission pastors in the new year to minister more to students and youths. We already have started that. Um, we already operate multi-staff ministry in the church, but we need more hands to reach out to Lautech. Number four, we want to help. Four and five is our ministry of help as a church. We have been greatly helped, and we have not stopped helping people. 
pastors from financially weak churches. You can help us and we will help them to reach out to those pastors who couldn't get enough and who are serving the Lord faithfully. The, sec the second category are missionaries. We also do that annually, but you can help us. The last category, we have uh, planned to start two new radio programs and we'd like you to assist us to do so. We have our account details there for anyone who would like to assist and uh, you can equally call us if the Lord is laying any on your mind. I'd like to quickly welcome our guest before we go to hear God's word. The choir will sing. We will have the scripture reading. Then we will sing a song here. That's our song of prayer as we hear God's word in the church. His Excellency is here. We would like to recognize your presence. He is the father of the day, Otomba Dr. Christopher Adebayo Alao Akala, PSCJP. That day you are welcome. Former executive governor of your state. And I would like to use him to welcome everybody on his entourage. I wouldn't want to mention names and offend people. When the names have been properly collated, we will recognize them. Dr. Samsi Adegoke, who is the chief host, is not here because he is presently on a pilgrimage to Jerusalem. He sent a message this morning and asked me to tell you that they are already in Rome. So he sent his greetings and um, at the appropriate time, they will be delivered. We'll be planning the pilgrimage. Unfortunately, the date came up to this week. And we have no reason that to allow him to go to deepen his faith and to grow and increase in the Lord. I want to recognize senior members of the clergy who are here. My father, the former general secretary of the Nigerian Baptist Convention, he came yesterday to join us to worship with Tokpe Alabi, and he came very early again today. Daddy Solomon Ademola Ishola. You're welcome, sir. I also want to recognize some of our fathers who are here. I want to celebrate the faithfulness of God in their life. My lecturer in systematic theology in the seminary, who is also my father from the BSF days, right from the days where we joined BSF. Daddy Reverend Professor Emiola Nilola. You are welcome, sir. I wouldn't want to bore us with details of everybody that I'm introducing. But I have a catalog of story to mention about them. Maybe on, the, on another day, not today, we will talk more about them. The conference president for Gomasho Baptist is here. He will soon take his leave after because there are other programs that he will attend. Our father, Daddy Reverend Dr. Thomas Lee Yojo, is here. You are welcome, sir. Thank you, sir. The immediate past conference president of Gomasho Baptist Conference is here with his wife, Reverend Dr. Israel Olubi and Olabisi Onalion. And I want to introduce and welcome my own direct Oga, Oga at the top. He's the moderator of our association, Ogomo Shock Good Shepherd Baptist Association, and also the chairman, Khan, Ogomo Shock North Local Government, and also the pastor, Sabo. But I wanted to say Sabo. I almost said Sabo Lua Baptist Church. Okay, Sabo Baptist Church, Reverend Dr. Tayo. You are welcome. And um, those were the people on program. We also have our fathers in the church because we will not repeat this introduction. So permit me to quickly recognize the former pastor of our mother church. He's a father and grandfather to us as a church. Reverend Dr. Solomon. Olufemi or Motosho. We are most delighted to meet. You are welcome, sir. We have the former pastor of this church, my father, 
my uncle, Reverend Doctor. What's his daddy's name again? I'm sorry, sir. I do will be a jaw, a mommy. You're welcome, sir. I'm sorry. I want to recognize also here with us the pastors of our preaching station, already an organized church. You are welcome in Jesus' name. We have some elder brothers. We have some junior brothers here. Uh, there will be contention about age. Come back in on the January, come back in July, Talek. Check my one, what you can only. To our conja segment, Reven D. Manja segment is January and July. But I can't even be. Reven D., you are welcome with your wife. Hallelujah. He's a very fine brother. Another elder brother we have here is um, Reverend Dr. Lake of Fatty Loro. You are welcome, sir. Reverend Dr. and Mrs. Lake of Jao from Owode, you are welcome. Reverend and Mrs. Samson Okediji, we welcome you, sir and ma. Reverend Peter Yola Olaleye, the guest minister for Lagos, you are welcome. And our pastor from Kaduna, Reverend Edward Adiri Bigbe, we want to celebrate God's faithfulness in your life. So, uh, a few of the names we have here at the appropriate time. Okay. okay. They just reminded me that our mother church pastor is here, Reverend Bisi Adjasa and the wife. Mommy and Daddy, you are welcome. I saw the sticker of the church for this year. I saw divine increase. I said, we picked increase. You put divine increase. Thank you, sir. The Lord will continue to renew your strength. Um, finally, our royal fathers. While we are doing the introductions and the welcome, Kabir's to came inside. Kabi is low water my food. Let me to the olor to wa la anewa. Kabi is sir. Osha ati ye. Eh eh. Oni kaka to she le. Kabi is low agbara. Afin one lodi milori one. Kabi is ikwe ikwe reverend. One kwe milori four. Mokbeseli. Mokba. So owo ni mokafe. Kabi is sir. We will be expecting. You have. ABSU. RS Alpha is also here. Edeka Shekab. Hallelujah. Bokboa, I can't see anyone cabo. The choir will minister, and after the song ministration, wa kabibeli reverend dr aiwo lani yoni yo wa su fun wa ani se introduction awon ti o wa su mo nigbati won ba se yen ton ah reverend professor emi olani lola yo wa gbadura pataki fun gbogbo eniyan fun ijo fun awon aladari ijo fun gbogbo awon alejo wa to wa ni bi e je ka wa ni farabale bi olorun se ba wa soro done in the life of the church and for so many of us that are able to grace this occasion today and later we will say Baba Adukwe Fun Ijori Ofe Tokwe Ogmodrum. Join us as we appreciate God together this morning.
shall be taken from the book of Deuteronomy chapter 1 verse 6 to 8 and the second lesson will be taken from the book of Joshua 13 verse 1 Beli ki kafun ogmodun didara olorun yi ari ninu we Deuteronomy ori kini ese kefa si ikejo ekejiri re Joshua ori ketala ese kansoso I want us to open our Bible to the book of Deuteronomy chapter 1, verse 6 to 8, where the first lesson will be taken. Mwa yi ne Olu wala ron suwa sofon wani ore bu wikpe Ekbe ori oke yikpe to E yikpada Ki a nisi mwa nan yikpan Ki a si losi ori oke anwa mori Ati si gogo agwegbe re. Ni kwa etele. Ni ori oke. Ati ni afo ni foji. Ati ni agusu. Ati leti okon. Si le awan arake nane. Ati si le baloni. De odo nlane. Odo efureti. Eseke jo. Wo. Moti fi le nan. Si wajou nyi. E wo lò ki esigba le nan. Ti yolo wabura fun awan baba nyi. Fun Abraham, fun Isaki, ati fun Jacob, lati fun wan, ati fun ru, omon wan, lenyi wan. 
Ejekalosi Joshua 13, 1. Joshua si bo, o si poni ojo, o lo a si wifun pe, i wo gbo, i wo si poni ojo, i le pi po si ku, la ti gba, o lo a yo bo ko kika, a ti gbi gbo rore, si gba le me walo ruko jesu. Ejekashi program wa si page 16. Awa ta ba mo ori ye, ori adura wa, bi a shen, bebe foun, IBC it is siwaju niyan je ki le po si ninu oro re o rami lawo jesu ki le po si je ki le po si ninu oro No. Oh. 
Father, King of glory, and Lord of lords. We thank you for the journey so far over these 30 years. We thank you, Lord God Almighty, for those you gave the vision to, to start this church, to plant this church. We thank you for all who have run with the vision this far. Glory to your name in the earth, Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. As we meditate in your word now, Father, feed us with the bread of life. Amen. And your name, O God, glorify. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. People of God, what a great day we have. I welcome the former governor of your state. I welcome the former general secretary of the Nigerian Baptist Convention. I welcome the honorable member of the House of Assembly. I welcome our royal fathers. I welcome fellow ministers of the gospel. I welcome all invited guests and every member of Holy of Air Baptist Church. This is the day the Lord has made and we will rejoice and be glad in it. 38th anniversary of this church is worth celebration. Because by the grace of God. We have become who we have become. By the grace of God, we have run the race well. And we have reasons to celebrate. And to God be the glory. I salute the courage of those the Lord gave the vision to. To plant this church. I knew they didn't see what we are seeing today. It was tough. But by the grace of God, we have overcome. I appreciate the founding leaders and founding members the current leadership and membership thank you for what you are doing the Lord will continue to bless you I also single, want to single out the contribution of our brother Dr. Samson Adegoke, Dr. Samson Adegoke, especially his contribution to the building of this ultra-modern worship center. We give glory to God for that. May the Lord continue to bless him and his family. Also, I want to sincerely appreciate all our guests the Lord will bless you for coming. Today, Loni, the Lord wants to speak to this church about one issue and that is the issue that is very germane. It's a charge similar to the charge that was given to the people of Israel when they left Egypt and they were going to the promised land it got to a point and the Lord told them break camp advance go and make possession of the new lands and the same thing I see God telling us today. I hear God telling Ori of Baptist Church. Go. Plant student and youth friendly churches. Across the nations of Nigeria and all over the world. Therefore, if you care for a topic for this message, it is, you have taken long a days 
mountain. Ori of her Baptist Church. The Lord says, You have stayed long on at this mountain. You have stayed long at Ogomasho. Every year, you turn out membership. A student graduate from the Ladoki Akintola University. University Lautech. They move out. Ben one jade lock across the world. One locker And so it is not surprised. Torina ko yawalenu that you have members all over the world. Someone who have been a member here during his period of studies in Lautech, someone who has been a member here when he was a staff at Lautech, but he now resides in Canada. He's now in UK. He's now in South Africa. He's now in Australia. He's now in South Africa. He's now in Australia. The Lord says, it is time to expand. It is time to move. It is time to go and possess other lands. As you have possessed Ogomosho, there are questions the Lord asks. Do you care what happens to these members who have been members here before who have gone? Do you tap the great potentials in them? Now they are displaced all over the world in global market. These are food for thought as we go into the word of God. The people of Israel left Egypt. It took them only three months to get to Mount Sinai. Only three months. That Mount Sinai is also called Oreb. It is also called the mountain of God. It took the people of Israel only three months to get there. And somebody will ask me, how do we know? And I will tell you, go to Exodus chapter 19. Verse 1. There the Bible says, in the third month after the Israelites left Egypt, in which month? In the third month after the Israelites left Egypt, on that very day, they came to the desert of Sinai. So it took them only three months to get to Mount Sinai. As many as they were. As many as the as many properties as they carried. But when they got to Mount Sinai, don't forget Mount Sinai was not the promised land. When they got to Mount Sinai, they settled down. And they were on Mount Sinai. Once you are Lori Okay for a whole year. People that were on transit going to the promised land. They got to Mount Sinai and they settled down. And they were there for a whole year. And somebody will ask me, How do you know? And I say, Turn to Numbers chapter 10. Numbers chapter 10. Verses 11 to 13. The Bible says on the 28th day of the second month of the second year. Thank God. The Bible is very is, is very clear. On the 28th day of the second month 
of the second year after they left Egypt, what happened? The cloud lifted from above the tabernacle of the testimony. Then the Israelites set out from the desert of Sinai and traveled from place to place until the cloud came to rest on the desert of Paran. They set out for the first time at the Lord's command through Moses. They got there in the third month of the first year. And they left there at the 22nd, 28th day of the second month, of the second year. They spent a whole year on Mount Sinai. People that were going to the promised land. They have settled down. And the questions we may ask very germane. Why did they settle down? People that are going to the, their promised land. Where did they get to somewhere and just settle down? We may also ask that question. Why did God have to order them to break camp? Why did God have to order them to break camp? These are questions which we will answer. And after that, I will drop the microphone. Why did God have to order them to move? One, it appeared that they have settled down and lost sight of their destination. It appears they have settled down and they have lost sight what you are so you know, of where they were going. It is woman. When you get to a comfortable place to feel what is what else? And we are looking for money and we encounter honor. What happens when we enter? Yes. The people settled down. Because they lost sight of the destination they were going. Then the force of God came. Long enough. The voice of God was a reminder. You have not gotten to where you are going. The Lord said, Arise. Depart. For this is not your resting place. I can hear God telling Ori of a Baptist church. Arise. And depart. This is not your resting place. Go and make disciples of all nations. Go and plant student youth friendly churches. You appear like other churches. To be at ease, prosperity, comfort, worshiping in an AC compliant church. You worship at your convenience. Why many students and youths are into drugs? Why many students are into drugs? 
Yahoo Yahoo. One say Yahoo Yahoo. Ham robbery. One run, one run the law Kidnapping. One jinibe. Prostitution. One say Nabi. And several others. Atoni runru awa iwa buruku mira. I hear God telling Ori of Baptist Church. You have not got to your resting place. Go out there. Scatter, run. And plant touches all over the world. Youth friendly. Student friendly. Churches. Why did God say you must move? God sometimes compelled to order people to move because of their wrongdoings. When God sees that some people are making mistakes, He commands them to move. And we see something similar in Malachi, I mean in Micah chapter 2. Verse 10. Where the Bible says, For this is not your resting place. Because it is defied. We also see in the scriptures. That sometimes God compels people to move because, because of personal sins. Imagine our father Jacob. He had to leave his father and mother and have to move because he has stolen the bad ride of his elder brother. And he has lied to his own father. People of God, this anniversary is an opportunity for self evaluation individually and corporately. Are there areas of ministries in which we are weak? That we need to be strong. Are there things we did that we should not, I mean, we should have done differently? Are there things we should have done that we failed to do which with the benefits of insight today? We know better now. Whatever it is, God says, Holy of Her Baptist Church, break, come, move on. Why, do, why did God say the people of Israel should break, camp and move? Because they have dwelt long enough. They have stayed long enough. They have enjoyed themselves enough. It is amazing. When we consider the place where they stayed long enough, it was Mount Sinai. It was month of God. It was where the presence of God was real to them. It was the place where Moses got the law. It was where God spoke to them direct. God said, it's enough. You have stayed long enough in, on my mountain. Move out, out of my mountain. How does that apply to all of your Baptist church? How does that apply to all of your church? There is always the church gathered. And there is always the church scattered. Centrifuga and centripeter. I want to go to the 
the church gathered and the church scattered. When we come into sanctuary, as we are gathered, is the church gathered? Is the church sent to Peter? We gather together to get power. To get strength, to worship God, to be renewed, to be empowered, but we should also scatter and witness Christ. This is where we are feeling today. Today, we are more comfortable with gathering. 24 hours worship. In the sanctuary. On holy mountains. Holy fallies. But we are failing. To tell others about Jesus. God said, Your gathering is enough here. Leave this mountain and move to the promised land. Holy of a Baptist Church has to celebrate your 30th anniversary today. Make soul winning. Church planting and discipleship. Are your core values and your core assignment. Are 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 your core your core assignment. Are your core assignment. God says, worship, 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 worship is enough. Go out and win souls. Go out and plant churches. Go out and make disciples of the whole world. And somebody said, the fastest way for to evangelize is church planting. And that's the truth. Church planting. The beginning may be difficult. As it was difficult when this church was started. But today we have reasons to celebrate. Why did God ask them to move? Because God has something else for Israel to do besides receiving revelations on Mount Sinai. Let me give you a scripture. If you look at verse 7 of Deuteronomy chapter 1, the Bible says, advance into the ill country of the Amorites. Go to all the neighboring peoples in the Haraba. In, in the mountains. In, in the, the western foothills. In the Negev. And along coast. To the land of the Canaanites. To, to Lebanon. Lebanon. As far as the great river Euphrates. In other words. God was telling them advance from praying to fighting. From praying to fighting. From praying to subduing. From worshipping to possessing and tilling the land. Church said, Move. And I hear God telling Ori of her Baptist. You have stayed long on this mountain. Arise. Shola. Arise. Arise. And move. Arise. 
and do the needful. It is woman to believe that every disturbance is our ease. Of our ease, every moving forward to seek fresh settlement. It's an expansion and enriching of our lives. But people of God, God says, Holy of Baptist Church, move on. And that reminds me a song. Move on, move on, don't be frightened. The master understands all will be well. Move on, move on, don't be frightened. The master understands all will be well. Why did the people of Israel not want to move? Because great and terrible wilderness are ahead. Fierce warfare is ahead. And the Mount Sinai is comfortable. When we look at challenge of soul winning. The challenge of church planting. The challenge of this discipleship. One may say, let's go down and be worshiping and be worshiping and, and be praying and be coming. And and be coming. Be coming. And feel comfortable in our AC compliant sanctuary. But God says, Holy of Baptist Church, do not be frightened. Whatever the challenge is, there may be persecution. There may be scarcity. There may be paucity of fund. There may be insecurity. There may be severe battle in soul winning, church planting, and discipleship. But nonetheless, God says, don't be afraid. Move on, move on. Assignment I have given you. Why did God say they should move on? Because it is time for the fulfillment of God's promise. It is time for God the people of Israel to appropriate the fulfillment of God's promise. If you look at that Deuteronomy chapter 8 verse 1, the Bible says, see, I have given you this land. Fulfillment of promise. I have given you this promise. Go in and and possess it. It was time for the fulfillment of God's prophecy. It was time for the people of Israel to appropriate that promise. Baptist Church. As you are celebrating your 30th anniversary, this is the time for the fulfillment of God's promise for you. You must appropriate it. You must break camp and move on. Why did God say they should move forward? Because there are large areas yet to be taken over. There are still very large areas of land to be taken over. Joshua, Joshua was the leader at that time. The successor of Moses. To the glory of God, 
The people of Israel have moved from Mount Sinai. So the glory of God, they are now in the promised land. But they have not possessed the land. Completely. To the glory of God, Joshua had led the people of Israel to confront 31 kingdoms and possess the lands of 31 kingdoms. And like any of us, Joshua felt well. Joshua saw I say it, uh, we cannot we cannot finish everything. Legba, ah, King Satan Legba. In Legba, in Ogun Abi? State. Uh huh. Ah, King Satan Legba. In Legba, Ogun State, where our mother came from. Joshua was comfortable. Oti, Joshua now, nah, Oti, 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 Oti. He thought well. well I think I've 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 I've, I've scored high. If I could confront thirty-one kingdoms and possess their land. Also, you bet him by leg by Leo by Moka Leni Ogba, Timosi by Lewa. But at that point, Subania Coco, yeah, the Lord said, Oh, Lua, we pay. Look at that, Joshua chapter 13. I will Joshua, Ori Ketala, as a kinney, verse one. Joshua, Ori Ketala, as a kinney, the Bible says, Bibeli, we pay. Joshua, Joshua, you are very old. Oti bolo to. And there are still very large areas to be getting over. The Lord did not stop there. The Lord gave him the geography of the area that needed to be taken over. The Lord did not stop there. The Lord told him the strategy to possess the remaining land. Holy of Baptist Church. Your scorecard is very high. Within these 30 years, you have planted two viable Baptist churches. You have ministered to Numerous Ladokites. You now have members all over the world. Yet, Mr. Pastor, you Yet, Sibe, Holy of Baptist Church. And your mother, don't need to have any Holy of God says, Oluwa we pay. There is still much to be done. Osi to ku, lati sheu. Many more lives to be taken over for Christ. Opolo po a yelo si wa ti ane lati jogun wa funje shu. Many more churches to be planted. Opolo po a jolo si wa lati dasi leu. Many more comforts to be discipled. Opolo po a wato si tije wa Oluwa lati sodome enyire. Wapo arise. And break camp. And move. Holy of Baptist Church. The pastor. is His associates. The church council. And all members. The Lord says. Break camp. Move on. Break camp. Scatter. All over the world. Advance to the hill country. To different parts of Nigeria. Go to neighboring peoples. Different people groups in Africa and all over the world. Go and take possession of the land. Go and win souls. Go and plant churches. Go and make disciples. Our progenitors in the Baptist faith in Ogumasho, we need to or no education. 
Like a wepe, pe, tabi a iwe kinkini ti waka. They planted churches in the northern Nigeria. Once it died, Dosile, ni in Ghana. Ghana. Ni Ghana. And other West African countries. With little or no education. Like a wepe, pe, tabi we kinkini. But today, Subaloni, with our terminal degrees, we are failing. We are failing. We are failing. God says, Go and win souls. Go and plant youth, student, friendly churches. Go and make disciples. This is the 30th anniversary message God has for you. May God help you not only to hear but to go and do the same in Jesus name let's pray gracious father king of glory the message you have sent me I have delivered and your word says my word will not go without accomplishing the purpose for which I have sent like it. The purpose for which you have sent this word today, especially to Ori of Baptist Church leadership and membership, let it accomplish. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. Follow si ojo la ijo yi won o sise gege bi imisi ti oluwa fun alufa ijo o se wa ni inu iwe eto wa my special prayer is going to be in two parts in the first part which i'm going to lead in yoruba it's okay for you to sit down but for the second part you will have to stand because i want to offer some words of prophecy into the future of this baptist church in line with the inspiration that God himself has given the shepherd of the church, Reverend Dr. Lawa. Jekateri Balati Badura. Oluwa, Oluwa, wa uruko inti ni ito ni bo gwa ye. Ni to ta, Olo anu olo ori ofe ni. Oluwa, du kwen to ori kwe, efu ani ori ofe, la ti kwe jokpo. Ni o ni, ti si o jok, ke jidi ni o gun, o su akoko, or no twenty twenty. Olu are going for Rukoi. Olu are going to repay Pejoko Yi. Oh, Jay Pejoko, I joy you. I see a joy of free and not here for my Baba, I want Yawa, I want Mawa. New York more do say. Olu are for me and not liberate joy. Olu are going to repair for me and me, Goran. Olu are going to repair for me, Goya. Olu are for your fetty of one. Let it be joy, Kale. Ni agbegbe yi ni ogbon odun seyin loruko Jesu Oluwa gbo pe wa Oluwa ri pe tori pe ipejopo yi ki se ipejopo lasan adu pe tori pe en farahan ninu isin adu pe fun ibukun ti an ri gba ninu ifarakinra adu pe fun orisirisi se ranse Oluwa adu pe o fun ise yin rere adu pe fun ijeri okan adu pe fun ida ijo sile fun gbogbo awon ori okan lokan jo kan ta le mu oka lati kan bi ogbon odun seyin loru ko jesu oluwa gbo pe wa oluwa dupe tori pe ninu awon ose ranse ijo yi ninu iwasu ninu adura ninu eko oro olorun opolopo ti jewo jesu bi oluwa ti olugba la won oluwa dupe tori pe nipa itebo mi won ti darapo mo ijo oluwa dupe fa won ti won ti pari irin ajo won ti won ti wa ninu ile ogo ni akoko yi 
Olu an goni fo ru kan yin. A di pe won Olorun won to di pe inu orisirisi sa iranse e ti mu awon eyan dagba ninu igbagbo. Won dagba ninu oye, won dagba ninu adura, won dagba ninu ekan ro Olorun. Oluwa di pe fun idan adura, di pe fun opolopo ije ri, ije ri mu larada, ije ri ipese, ije ri isegun, ije ri tesiwaju, ije ri abu. Oluwa o goni fo ru kan yin. Oluwa di pe fun itusile, a di pe fun aseyori. Oluwa dupe o adupe fun opolopo ore ti a le won ka leyo kokan fo on te ti se ni akoko yi ori ofe yin ni lo ruko Jesu ole gbo pe wa adupe to ri pe oruko ijo yi o ti ro won ori ofe Oluwa o ti faraan Oluwa dupe fun ifaraan ori ofe yin nipa agbara yin adupe fun ifaraan ori ofe yin nipa ibukun yin adupe fun ifaraan oruko yin ni poju ere yin nje oluwa fun gbogbo ona te ti fi ori ofa yin lati fi agbara yin fun awon odun won yi lo ruko jesus olo egbo pe wa fun gbogbo ona te ti bukun omo ijo idile kokan olori ijo osise ijo ati aleju ninu ijo yi lo ruko jesus olo egbo pe wa oluwa fun gbogbo ona te ti fi ara yin nipo oju rere ti jo yi ti ri lo ruko jesus olo egbo pe wa nje ni ru akoko yi oluwa awa ngbadura fun alufa fun awon diakoni fun awon osise fun omo ejo nje ori ofi olorun yo tesi waju pelu yin agbara olorun yo je ti yin ibukun olorun yo je ti yin ojure olorun yo je ti yin gbogbo awon to wa ire ijo yi lo ruko jesus ori oluwa yo mo ba yin gbogbo awon to lakaka to n gba adura lo ruko jesus adura yin o mo je itewo gba gbogbo awon to sin ninu ijo yi lo ruko jesus isin yin o mo je itewo gba gbogbo awon to n ko o bapo to n sise iriju mo ya yin sinimo ati ore yin lo ruko jesus yin o mo je ti itewo gba nje oluwa gbogbo alejo ti o mo darapo mo ijo yi lo ruko jesus won mo ba olorun pade won mo ba adu pade won mo ba ibu ko pade oluwa ogoni fo ruko yin adupe fun te ti se adupe fun te o tun se oluwa ogoni fo ruko yin ni oruko jesu christi oluwa wa let all members of the church now stand up as i offer some word of prophecy in line with the inspiration that god has given your under shepherd ori of oluwa baptist church I prophesy concerning you in the name of Jesus. As you mark 30 years and celebrate 30 years of the power of God, the blessing of God, favor of grace, and, and grace of God, you fulfill your destiny in the name of Jesus. This is your season of destiny to be fulfilled in the name of Jesus. Ori of Oluwa Baptist Church Ogumosho, this is your season to be numbered among those doing serious ministerial work in the name of Jesus. Your power of the Holy Spirit shall renew your power to serve the Lord afresh in the name of Jesus. As it is in biblical revelation, with God calling people to enter ministry at the age of 30, at this new age of 30, the Lord will renew all your ministries in the name of Jesus. Amen. Worship will be renewed. Amen. Fellowship will be renewed. Amen. Discipleship will be renewed. Amen. Evangelism will be renewed. Amen. Missions will be renewed. Amen. Church planting will be renewed Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. This is your season for reigning in life like Joseph and Saul and David in the name of Jesus. Amen. Because it is a new season of renewal. It shall come with joy and happiness in the name of Jesus. Amen. I declare that this is your season for next level in ministry like that of Jesus in the name of Jesus. Amen. As you command new ministry, the Lord will open unto you doors of opportunity more than ever before in the name of Jesus. Amen. God will open your eyes Amen. wide open with visions of the power of God and glory of God in the name of Jesus. God will bless your units. 
He will bless your ministries. He will bless your commitment in the name of Jesus. Concerning year 2020, which is the year of your increase, scripture says, though your beginning was very small, yet your later end will increase abundantly. I promise that this year shall continue to be unto you years of abundant increase in the name of Jesus. You will be greater in size. You will be greater in amount. You will be greater in number. In the name of Jesus. You will expand. You will enhance. You will intensify. You will advance. You will make progress. You will rise. You will multiply. You will swell. You will build up. In the name of Jesus. I prophesy for every worshiper in this church, every member, every family, everyone that is laboring in this vineyard, God will provide for you. He will protect you. He will bless you. He will prosper you. He will sanctify you. He will purify you. He will energize you. In the name of Jesus, concerning all your ministries that you are looking unto God, the Lord will surprise you ministries in the name of Jesus. Amen. You have stayed long enough for this mountain. As you go and break camp, you will advance to the hill country in the name of Jesus. Amen. You will go to all the neighboring people in the name of Jesus. Amen. You will possess the land. Amen. Go in grace. Amen. Go in power. Amen. Go in blessing. Amen. Go in favor. Amen. For we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Oto akoko lati gbo ikinin lati odo awon alejo wa pataki kokan. Praise the Lord. Praise the living Jesus. Ni oruko ijo ori of Fellow Baptist Church. Ni aki gbogbo awon alejo wa kabo. Adura wa ni pe bi a se tese wonu ijo ori ofe. Ori ofe Olorun ko ni won wa. Aki gbogbo awon alejo wa sugbon ki a mo ba agbara wa ni akoko. Nisi sente li ama ke a wan ali jo tfun a iki ni kokan. Ni a koko ake baba wa. Ti wan je honorary church member. His Excellency, Dr. Christopher Adebaya Lawa Akala. The former governor of Royal State. Mwa mo iki ni wafun i jo. To God be the glory. <coughs> um, Reverend Awa, that is the opportunity to follow your ministry since the session. And uh, I want you to personalize, personalize this song. Moye Jesu logo. Oi Jesu logo Ipe to pe mi Ipe ayo ni Oi Jesu logo Oi Jesu logo Oi Jesu logo Ipe to Ipe to pe
Holy of Baptist Church. And to introduce me, Kosiwi, Mbatoni, member of the Two families brought me to this church. Egba, Oluni, Ati, Doctor and Mrs. Alayade. I'm here to know what's the church you're offering, but I'm better. But see, what's the better? I'm not sure. 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 I'm Oh, that be Leo Sadi. You don't need to be able to go somewhere. You have to be a room with more guy. I'm afraid of my bed. I'm afraid of one room. So, I see. I don't know. So, I'm going to be a new one. 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 But I'm going to be a new one. I'm going to be a new one. I'm going to be a new one. Madi, we want man to balance for me. I be a cop, we know we cop. Ati, brother me, doctor Ira, I be ati, I follow me, Titi, Ira. Mobile yo, all of it, dupe. Ni walonu, to be. I want to say, I want to say, I want to say, geometric progression. That was the arithmetic progression. Move with speed. I want to say, 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 I I went. What you morning, Reverend? I doubt that. Morning, you know the program, Reverend. I doubt it. The down. I want to add even me, only for pitch. She was in the way for many present present embarrassment. Thank you, you pay. Bye, 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 bye. But I'm why they eat your roof. Pay your roof. I want to mommy. Every criminal to do your job of any. One is your roof. I want to mommy. I will call the level. No, I will long. I was happy to pay more level than that. You know me that you can't see me. I don't care what you do. I eat it. I think me. You like to pay your drill. I think I want to go down. Your long coat on Saturday. It can be a two hours or so. When they can cool me, right? Can move. That's when I move the way. Be a nice guy. I'm not from Queenie. I'm glad to my dad church is in it. God can. But I do know I want my. I'm a wasi. Take me. I call you what you want to see. I ain't got to have me on my. And you must see. Then go chemical. Pourquoi il me croit quoi Eh, il peut boire. Ah, vous aussi, bang, bang. Moi, non, on se rend compte. Eh, pour le coup, après... Un fouminé, un fouminé, un fouminé. Eh, il... Baba, on a été à Dieu pour... On lui a dit, moi, je dis, on a dit, Baba... Baba... On peut tout. Et moi, je suis là, 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 je Eh, Reverend, number one to six. I just saw a number six. 
adupa fun ori ofe ti olohun fun ijo ori ofe baptist church that is a ayeye opo odun lagbara lowo olohun ijo yi o ma tesi waju mo ki gbogbo awon agba teru eto yi nitori pe keyo to se eto ko la rinrin to bayi olohun ti yan leyin lagbara olohun olohun ni pada ninu ijo yi eyin ti ajo je odo awon baba wa ti fi ipile lile e ma ja pa rotara wa je ta ba se ogbo odun ta se goju odun alimo pe dubai ke se ti ku ke se tarun elomi le ti ku ologbo mo so sugba ipa to ba kan wa e da ko e je ta ko ninu ijo yi olohun le dumare yo ma te ijo yi si waju eh iti won ba bo tele o ti bi pe eto wa loke o ti le tente ma ji se ti baba wa firan mi mi ni wi nkan kan ni sin ti mo ba bo tele ma si fi yon pa mo igba ti a ba se lagbara ologba ti won ba de gbogbo eto a se mo ki awon baba wa ta bi esi emi yo ko fun wa o e pe fun wa e pon wa pe olohun ma ti yen leyin o mo ki onarebu mi oladeji olohun ma te yin si waju igba ta wa so si mo si fa ni jo ni won soro onarebu mi oladeji ori gbogbo eyan wu te ba tun wo nti a wa olose lu nje leyin olohun leader la nje e wo bi a se duo ti leader won olohun ile dumare o ni pada leyin yin na baba wa da yona wa mo ki olohun pe lo yo mo ki gbogbo wa wa ti a wa ninu ojo yi lagbara olohun eto ta nse loni yi a ma si rere a ni ma sa guru a delibare o praise the lord baba ti pari ma ri onorebu o ba do ba lo ko ti won na ti won ba fe se won so fun mi ah mo fi akoko yi pe the only female the only female as of assembly member ngba ti okay se se ni ti gba ta won ti ba won so o ye ki mo ma ru ko to ko jo kan la won o ye ki won ma won ma foju an gbo gba o kuro la ko se ni o lo si odo awon baba wa mo fi towo towo pe baba wa o ba sunday o la da pe idiran e la gba mi ose ku to Je ba mi fun won ni atewo. Praise the Lord. Ah, ju pe lowo Olorun. O je ki ojo oni ko soju gbogbo wa. Ada gbogbo ogo pada sodo re. Jori of Eluwa se won abi o se on Baba Ademola Isola ah ara ope o le yin na wa te joku ni waju wa loni mo ri be se mu owo ijo yen lekan mo ri pe iya to ba tori igba kan be ti a ma ta ma jo be yen baba ko tu ni won wo won wa mo se bi awo mo jo ni debo mi ba se ma jo ni sugba ijo yen iya to le ni lo so ayo yen ko ni dibaje o ki olola julo gomina ipinle oyo ni gba kan ri otun ma christopher debayo ala wa kala a ibi gbogbo na la ma ba ojo ibi gbogbo la ma ba ala wa kala loruko jesu ko ni re yin olorun ama to kun atagbara gbogbo eyin ti e tele gomina wa gbogbo yin na ni mo kini le ma daruko yin lokokan ah mo ki a ile eko awon ko asu professor emelani lola baba e dide mu fe ke dide be se olohun se jogun giga fun yin yen eh mu fe ki lawa owo yin la to kede le reverend dr shola lawa wo baba bi en se duro la to kede le reverend dr adeju won na wo won eh yen pa agbada ti e ki baba na yen ti e eh Hey, hey, so the back and Bembe, Papa Joko, Bembe, last way, see, 
In la one she a bad at you one. What do you want to see one? A boy, one boy, see me. Hey, madam, I take notes. Imagine one run a bad at you one. I want to get one run a rule and you want me. Eh? What a bad at you can let. I do pay. Yes. One, 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 go, let's draw. I remember Dr. Lani and Moki, in fact, a message in, who they can fair miss a bit more timbo. It's already, oh, who love me, Lati Kuro, ni bit more timbo, Sibila Roy. Ah, you know, retreat to Kanimbo Timbo and shake back on my conference. Messages to you, we hear you know, conference, you have a message for your fellow Roy, who fell for a king round one. Our Coco Canada, to come where I met here, you feel only development, you don't know, Lou. Baba says, all right, discipleship, I must all right, development. Be jolly of anything. Spread out to one break fort. Ben and the woman who know Kim in Kabuki, Tia only she for Nino Ilu, Taffy Maranati, a jury of fetch you, Lua, or Billy Lefwa. Only the vocational training center. Emma Rono Luria, O Shep Pataki, needed a cocoa tower. I want a job, I want to be a Jew. I Ijo lono na agbodo biyanju lati se ohun kan tabi ohun miran lati fi ran ilu lowo ijo yin ti tura ategun fe si wa ategun tutu fe si wa e je ki awa na ka guru ategun yen ninu ilu o je ipe ni ja ti mo fe pe ore ofe laaro yi seri eti reverend dr sholala wa lo re ti lowo mi uh, go me now what you say. So, mba what you say, me li me out you. E mba do ton pe lo ri e ma. So, be me now fe donate prophetic moment. Lo ri le she radio I praise. Prophetic moment. Lo ri le she radio I praise. Online radio ni. Ah, uh, she akba te rubi. I want to share the share and to watch the Reverend Dr. Shalala. I want to share the news with my father. I want to share the news with my radio. I want to share the news with you. I want to share the news with you. I want to share the news with you. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. I want to share the news with you. Are Sapa. Ki I wanna waf one royal blessing at the good will at all.
egbe hirire egbe jade ko doko ko da gbegbe ko dara ale bi ara sentu yen mo pe awa ta do yi e ka mo jo saja ino wa bi e ka jo saja na le mi na te mi na si nsoro yi so bi ani ko kan yo mo pe ninu ejo nu egbe ni jo saja ajo wa nbe na ni amo bi ti won so awa si baba wa kala ra won pe tu ti won so awa si ni ohun o je ka wole to ma wa si ogbo ma so mo emi wa ro ayin te nse agba te ru ijo ko kan ti si ndun wo ti ndun ri sta do ansi ngba e je da kun bi ti e so awa na si e je ko ma do ri ko ma do wo bi e e di o ba dun bi igbe ni ni ru ri o ai ogbo ma so kan na njo gbogbo wa baba wa demola ti an bi wu mi yi 